Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very exciting video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all new, the brand new, Access Flying Manta 30. This is a cloud shredding, tree ripping, 3 inch sub 250 little monster packed into this beautiful little frame with all the features you could ask for including GPS including DJI it's got it all on one little sweet little frame and you are not going to want to miss this let's go <laughs> all right pilots so let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. This is the Manta 30. It's a three inch HD DJI 04. I go without receiver because I like to fly the DJI radio. Let's crack this open. I'm excited to see what it looks like. And a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Ooh, okay. We are wrapped up in boxes. So how do we get in here? Okay. <laughs> a little snack pack, huh? So we just toss these boxes and then we slide that out. Wow! Woo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what do we got in here? So we've got GoPro mount, battery strap, Allen key, battery sticky plate, spare screws, and any other miscellaneous items you may need. We've got two sets of HQ props. These are three by three by three. So they are a three inch prop with a three inch pitch. I'm actually taking the DJI 04 light and they pull it apart. They build it out or outfit it in their access flying armor. If you've not heard of that, it's a super cool little uh, case and shell and camera mount and everything that goes on top of the DJI 04 light because it's kind of open. The electronics are exposed. This puts them all inside, protects them, makes them mountable, makes them more protected. But I can tell you right now, without even opening anything up, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is compact. I can feel the strength of everything. If you look in the front, you can see the camera is not this weak pathetic exposed camera it is actually encased in that very strong uh, access flying armor that we talked about it looks really cool you've got a steel aluminum camera mounting cage you've got 3d printed GoPro mount right here which I'm sure you could jump in and play with and do a little something if you wanted to encase your GoPro DJI action maybe a you know a thumb or a 360 something like that like an insta 360 but if we look at the back here we've got our antenna and they've kind of out taken it right pulled it out and then flopped it over just for shipping purposes and I'm pretty sure all I got to do is drag this forward and then I can stuff it in there yep look at that and now my my antenna is done mounted ready to go and I'd imagine the further I push the more compact this is going to become giving it more protection more more uh, making it compact tighter harder to reach now if you'll notice these motors are absolutely gorgeous Woo! look at those are red on black very sleek they are the C204 motors they are a 2650 kV I don't know if it says that on here it does. They are the C204 2650 KV motors. They are very uh, short and stout. They're nice and thick. They're beautiful. They really, really are. They do not have the M5 mounting nut. They are actual mounting is the T style, and that is the props they've given us. If you're not sure how that works, I'll show you one. So that's how that works. You'll drop this over, put it on the center pin, and then you drive two screws through, and look at the clearance on that propeller to the frame. Wow, that's tight. This was designed and selected and put together. Very, very nice so far from what I can see. I do want to take note that they have put uh, 3D printed. These are not plastic. If you are familiar with the plastic ones, I can show you what they look like. Here's some right here. They are plastic wire cover cases. 
And these do tend to get broken and then they get frayed and then they're sharp. And then if they hit your wires, although their job is to protect your wires, they can be the very thing that is breaking your wires. So I think they took a new approach here and they actually 3D printed covers and that's pretty cool. And they are not TPU, they are made out of PLA. And then there's a double side sticky tape, you can see it right there. And that's what's gonna keep it from flying up and getting caught up in your props. So that's very nice. And your motor wires run inside of it. And then as you can see, we are in this very, very strong, durable injection molded side plate. This is not 3D printed. This is very strong. This is going to keep dust out. This is going to keep moisture out. This is, well, I don't know about moisture, but maybe a splash of water, things like that. If something uh, like, you know, you get caught up in the weeds and you're trying to turtle mode and you're just blasting freaking shredded grass and trees and everything up inside, it's not going in there because you've got this massive protection plate. And what they've done is they've given you a cutout for my USB type C so I can still get beta flight in there. Very nice. I don't have to pull all this apart to get beta flight in there and then they've left me open in the back so that way you can see if I hold it at the right angle right there they cut the back so I can access my DJI air unit that's very nice and if I flip it same thing here you can access right here and that is to go ahead and get a type C if you look through these four holes we've got four screws one two three four those are mounted to the access flying armor and you can see the armor through here which is what the O4 is encased in keeping it strong and protected now watch this if I flip this over you'll see on this mount you've got two holes right here I don't use those because I'm going to be using the DJI O3 radio but right here you can see they've equipped you with an immortal T holder see that so your antenna would go through and then your T would shoot out this way allowing for a beautiful beautiful mounting staying away from the props and keeping everything very nice my battery strap can come out in and out through here so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that out of my way. So you can see right here is our battery pad and that's, that's what goes on the carbon to keep the battery from sliding around. And it's mounted very nice, very sleek. And what they've done is they've made my antenna mount very solid. I mean, this, this is solid. You can see it right there. This is, this is TPU, but this is solid. It really is, okay? And what they've done is they've extended it out in a flat formation. See that? This is all flat. So although the frame ends right here, this entire fat finger space is all an extension. So that's gonna allow for me to fit a battery that's just a little bit longer than this frame can handle. Now let's go ahead and dive in and really take a look what's inside. Wow, look at that. So this is very cool. And if we look inside underneath the hood, you can see, God, how beautiful is that? Now I'm trying to show you this secret little surprise and I, I don't wanna pull everything apart to do it, but you know what I'll do? I won't pull it all apart. I'll just show it to you by flipping this open. And if you look right down up in there, see that? You've got a cable right there, okay? And you see it plugged into something. And then if you look down enough, you may start to notice if I spread this, no, how do I show this to you? I can see it with the naked eye. There it is right there, you can see it. Yes, sir, now you see it, you see that? Uh-huh, they went ahead and slid up in the TPU, up under the GoPro mount, a full-on GPS unit. Huh, on your three-inch little ripper. Now, you can see their artwork underneath, if we look under the hood, well done. Beautiful solder pads, they've done a great, great job. Look at this, they've taken our plug which comes from our DJI air unit, which is inside of the access flying armor. You can see it now. They've snugged everything up, cute little zip tie, shot it up to the front, mounted the camera, which also is not naked. It's inside of the access flying armor as well. And then they've mounted all this together. And let's give a little push. Indeed, it is soft mounted. So this is gonna fly very nice. 
And this is a F745 stack. This is an all-in-one stack. It's got the ICM 42688 gyro. Very, very nice. You've got 32 megabytes of black box on board. We're running 40 amps of continuous current output. On a three inch, we're never gonna need that. So the chances of you blowing this stack are pretty rare. You've got a barometer on board, and last but not least, this is not BL Heli 32. You have the new AM32. That means you can plug in, flash, upgrade, update, and do you boo boo. And if you look closely on the stack, these are actually metal MOSFETs. Whew. That's very nice, very nice touch. Okay, what I've noticed is on this very sleek design, very, very nice, very cool looking, but yet built well, strong, lots of, lots of like, uh, and it's, 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 it's robust. That's the word I'm looking for. This is a robust three inch drone, but still compact, good looking. It's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be a great, great flyer, but we won't know until we take it to the air, which we're about to do. Hold on now. I've noticed you've got your aluminum, which is strong, lightweight up front. That's your camera mount. That's keeping everything strong and protected up front, but it's also what supports the entire quadcopter. And we have nothing going back and then two aluminum standoffs in the back, and then you've got your two dust plates on the sides, keeping everything protected and nice and sleek without extra weight, without unneeded stuff, but also staying very strong and protected. Now, purchasing, you do have the option to get this with built-in uh, TBS Crossfire, and you can also get this with built-in ELRS. They are running the red and black theme, if you haven't noticed. The motors are the C206, red and black, frame and everything else is black, and then you've got your propellers that they gave you with it, which are also red. So now we're just red on black, red on black, very, very nice. All right, pilot. So I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed checking out this quadcopter with me. Look at it. It is the size of the palm of my hand. This little three inch ripper is going to be a shredder. I know at 6S, it is going to be fast. It's going to be strong and it's going to take a beating. We've got dust protection. We've got carbon fiber. We've got armor plates. We've got everything. We've got GPS. We've got it all. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into beta flight. I might touch up my rates just a little bit. I'm going to bind my DJI and then we're off to the clouds and I'm going to show you guys some flight footage. So I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go get your own Access Flying Manta 30 and I will see you on the next one. What you want is it really that important? You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore it. Little baby, you a 10. When I'm in it, I got you going, oh. I can't even help it. I don't think I want to know that I've been on you. Ooh, oh. Tell me that you want it. Little baby, you a 10. Can I run it back again? Laid up, we paid up and faded on top of it. Ain't really used to this, I ain't ever has. From the bare minimum, we doing lavish. I was down bad, really acting like I had it. You seen right through it, knew I was catting up. Still let me hit it till you cast out it, had enough. Lately, sh been adding up. What you want, I'm activated. Where you looking at me with the minds hella captivated? Know you had you a long day, you agitated. I can get you off no medication, have you elevated? Can't fix the world, but I bet I fixed that attitude. Mood on Big Ten when I fall through, it's all you. Slide through the town by the lake shore Used to ride tank to the last drop in the Acura Really I was down bad, I was acting up Somehow you still ain't had enough yeah. Ride for a real one, yeah Slide on a real one On my mama and got you the real thing Can't even cap to me, know you feel something Yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want is it really that important You have been on my mind and I really can't ignore it Lil' baby, you a 10 Wait a minute, I got you going I can't even help it I don't think I want to Know that I've been on you Tell me that you want it Little baby, you a 10 Can I run it back again? What we doing? 
I've been on you long time, I'ma prove it You let me ride tides and I always keep it fluid And if they ain't going stupid, I be tripping if I lose it I get you so high, have you jet lag We can skip town, get your rest back Vacating it out and blowing jet pack Show me one more time, I think you best at, yeah One more time at you at sunrise We can slide on telegraph and do brunch time I've been making ends meet I've been running around to catch it Plays in the field deep I just wanna build reach No, I got you charged up Just let that phone die Pull up in the clutch like I'm curry in the crunch time I got something for you when the sun gets tired Drop that pen up in the black So the option know you ride with a real one Side with a real one Oh my mama and God, you the real thing Can't even cap to me, now you feel something Yeah, you wanted a million and you show it What you want is it really that important? You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore oh. it